What is happening, sports fans? Welcome back. Main man, Matt from the DFS 5 Pack. Here with my main man, the DFS Patriot. It is Wednesday, February 23rd. We're here to talk NBA for Thursday, February 24th. NBA is back in action. I haven't talked to you in a few days. We caught up a little bit before the video, but what's happening, bro? Yeah, what's going on? You know, it was a nice little break. Hopefully everyone, you know, rested up in the DS, DFS aspect. I uh, I did not. Went hard on MMA on Saturday and then dibbled in some uh, NASCAR on Sunday and then played some NHL the past couple of days and actually did really well. And I don't I don't know if it's shit beginner's luck or if it's just, hey, but, you know, the degenerate me needs to play. Uh, that's awesome. I've been playing some LOL. I had a real good night one night last week, but otherwise been kind of getting – curb sound recently um it is what it is i'm actually appearing on another show tomorrow night to talk some lol I'm excited about it. So, oh yes i am i swear bro i'm excited to talk some lol live on air uh it's called the shark cove um and yeah man i'm fucking hyped for it to be quite honest so yeah we got to talk some hoops before that though um yeah we got seven games to, to talk about before we get into the hoops i got to shout out our promoters same deals going on when you sign up and join Jazz Sports, you get a no-risk wager up to $1,000 in your first bet. That's one k back if your first wager is graded a loss. You just can't beat that deal. Uh, promo code is 5PACK. Link will be in the description section. And then Loose Lines. Loose Lines is an affiliate of Jazz Sports. They offer really good lines and odds over there. Reduced juice and a ton of other perks. When you sign up over at Loose Lines, you get 50% off your per first deposit. Uh, the promo code is also five pack over there. We got some other things in the works that we're going to be talking about shortly for both of us, a new site that we're going to be promoting. So stay tuned for that. I'm excited to get you on board with this stuff. And yeah, man, let's talk some NBA. Let's do it. Let me get that. Let me get that pulled up real quick. Where is it? All right. So seven gamer tomorrow night. So first on the docket is Cleveland, Detroit. So for Cleveland side, we, again, injuries are going to be a little bit, you know, a little bit different than normal, obviously, because, well, shit, there's no one there. So, Market, is he playing? I don't know. Won't won't play. No, that's from last week. Okay, so, I mean, but Market, it's the same story, Market. He's been out for how many weeks now? Three, four? Yeah, he's been out for, like, a month. I mean, honestly, like, it doesn't even matter for me if he plays or not. Um, I'm not looking to play him. It makes me like the other guys a little bit less. Garland's price tag is still really cheap. Yeah, we were on him when he was, what, 74? Was that last week? Yeah, it was the last slate. He was 74 for that was God stupid. knows why. And even 79 is too cheap, I feel like. I agree. Um, so, yeah, I'm all about it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, what 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 is scary defensively from Detroit? The answer is absolutely nothing. And, you know, the kid's a stud. Yeah, they lost to Detroit the last time they played, too. I think they put it on the Pistons here. Um, so I like Garland a lot. Uh, he's my favorite play from Cleveland. I think Allen and Mobley are fine, too. But mm -hmm. it's all about Garland if I'm going to go to one guy from Cleveland. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, you know, if you want to take you know, how's Kevin Love been playing lately? I haven't been watching much. He just doesn't play a ton of minutes, especially with all these other guys in. So is that like a structure thing? Like, is that how the rotation built in? I think that's just like what hit their plan for him. Okay. So it's similar to what they're kind of doing with Al Horford now. Yeah. With the Celtics. How they're kind of limiting so that he's kind of prepared for the playoffs. Yeah. All right. Uh, Detroit side of the ball. So everyone's in. I don't. I don't ever like playing Detroit. Neither do I. Um, the one guy is Jeremy Grant. Price keeps falling. Like, I yeah, don't know. For a guy that for a guy that wants a max contract, he's not doing much to uh, maximize himself. I feel like for you though, you gotta like that price point. I mean, for for him. Well, I feel like for a cash perspective, his price point is phenomenal. But I think it just sets him up to be such a chalky piece of the puzzle. You think? Yeah, I mean, there's only seven games, and right, I mean, I mean, we're still early, so like there could be injuries that pop up. There could be value, you know. There's stuff that always can pop up, but like, yeah, I mean, because I mean, you know, your floor is around the twenty mark, and then you know, your ceiling, you know, we've we've seen ceiling games where he's in the fifties for Christ's sake. So I mean, at six K, but to expect, you know, if you if really if you're looking for five times value, thirty points. It, 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 it's it's tough, but I mean, again, for a cash play, he's he's very reasonable at fifty nine hundred. Oh, I completely agree. Um, I mean, I think he works anywhere, but I, I do get your cash game points. Um, he works for sure. I mean, also there's other really good plays on the slate, you know, with Chris Paul out, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, Which is crazy that he played in the All Star game still. Yeah, no. Um, 
if, if I were to use a guy from Detroit, it would be Jeremy Grant, but I'm not like excited about it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm probably, again, probably going to stay away from this first game just besides Garland. Um, and that's, you know, he's not a lock, but I mean, he's definitely highly in consideration. For sure. I'm with it. All right. Next, Boston and Brooklyn. So for the Celtics, we were just talking about this before. Time Lord and Marcus Smart are both playing. Um, you know where I'm going back to. Are you going back to Time Lord? Uh huh. Yeah, that's your dog. I mean, when uh, both him. They, I, Brooklyn is not different inside, though, with Drummond. I mean, not that you're scared of Drummond, but. I was going to say, yeah, I'm not scared of Drummond a bit. And, and Time Lord is so much eats, more. He eats up a lot of rebounds. He does. He does. But it also means, too, that, like, Time Lord is going to have to get inside. Like, you know, before he can kind of dilly-dally when there's no true big man inside and, you know, he'll get a rebound here and there. But, like, now that there's a true big man inside who's going to plant his ass right in the paint for a rebound, like, he's going to be there. So his chances of getting more rebounds, I think, are even going to be higher than they are now. Yeah. I mean, I get it. I do think that you have a little bias coming in right now, though. Um, 1,045 percent. Like... Aldridge on the other side, I see projects for more points, like by really? multiple places. Wow. That's yeah, like to me. They, pro- they project for like basically the same. And for a substantially price difference. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't love either of them. I get the, the Williams play, especially in a mid-tier build. My problem is like, I don't know. I like Jokic a lot. I like you know, Devin Booker, there's other guys from Phoenix. I think, yeah, I mean, I don't love anything from the Boston side just because, like, they're healthy. I get the Robert Williams love. Like, he still has massive upside. If one of the, any of those guys, you know, Drummond, et cetera, dropped 50, up 50, it's Williams. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. I mean, and the other thing is, obviously, with Smart back, like, as a Celtics fan, I love it from a, you know, team perspective. But from a DFS perspective, it really hinders – you know, the Derek White to the world, or, you know, even Grant Williams minutes with Tice coming back. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's probably – this is more of a game for me that I'll be watching and enjoying than playing a DFS lineup and enjoying. For me, unfortunately, like, there's a bunch in Brooklyn I like. I mean, no KD, no Kyrie. Seth Curry. Oh, it's a home game. Yeah. yeah. Seth okay. Curry. I mentioned Drummond. James Johnson at 3,500. I mean, they got value all over the place. Yeah, I mean, guy, he's playing minutes, man. He's yeah, he he is just he is a mystery to me. This man, I know, me too. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, I mean, if he's gonna play, if you're gonna tell me he's gonna play 32 minutes at that price tag, yeah, sign me up. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, bunch of Brooklyn is in play. None of them are must. So I think you could get away without playing any Brooklyn, just given the slate. But I also think that like all of you know, Seth Curry is probably my favorite, and then. Patty Mills talked about Drummond. I mean, mm-hmm. they're missing their three best players right now. So it, it just makes me nervous again, you know, again, as partially being a homer um, and partially just, you know, knowing the facts, the Celtics defensive efficiency right now is like insane. Like what they're giving up per game and, you know, how many turnovers are causing and how, you know, their pay. I just, it makes me I nervous. I get that. So, well. so maybe you don't want to use all like, stack brooklyn but like but they are still dfs is all about like price and stuff and they're still right. too cheap for their current roles right 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 yeah i know I, I would agree with that for sure I, i'm with you though i don't think like you have to play a bunch of brooklyn at all and you can get away like i said without playing any brooklyn um right. what was i gonna say it came out like a minute ago that Lori Markin in practice t- today so i'm sure that helps his cause for playing tomorrow since we just talked about that oh yeah yep just saw that all right. Um, Atlanta, Chicago. John Collins, what's your word? There was a report on him. Oh, yeah. So he's limited to practice. I don't today. think he's playing. I mean, if he's not playing, do you look at Capella again? Yeah, I think Capella and Trey Young. I mean, Trey Young, though, for sure. I don't know. I'm not excited about Capella, honestly. No, I just don't. Like, what happened to him? When he was in Houston, he was an absolute animal yeah i know and i feel like i want Jokic at center honestly yeah that makes sense and i mean trey young is trey young is trey young they roll orlando that's the only reason oh yeah he there. He didn't I, play think, the fourth. I was gonna play 22 minutes or 25 yeah, minutes not play in the fourth right yeah i mean it's orlando so we should expect that 
tell you what though, like Garland's two K less. So like Right. Sign me up for that over Trey. Very same. similar player and you know, game style. Um, any, any else Atlanta wise? I mean, like I'm fine with the hunters and the herders of the world if you want to take a shot or if you just need a filler piece, you know, they're gonna play their minutes. Yeah, same. I mean, I think you can do better on this slate though. Mm-hmm. Uh you know, coming up even in the next game and then certainly in the game after that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Chicago side. So obviously the same guys. No Lonzo, no Caruso, no Pat Will. Damn. Yeah, the same guys are out. And seven. Yeah. Their price. He tag. deserves it, but like, damn. No, he doesn't deserve to be 2K more than Levine. That's the only thing I'm saying. I get yeah, the price tag, why he's that expensive, but I feel like when you look at it, then Levine is too cheap. Yeah, I think this is a, this is a similar situation to when we were talking about, like when Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum were, you know, that two K yeah. part. Like you obviously rather have DeRozan, like as right. scoring more points, but like first off, Levine's gonna outscore DeRozan like forty percent of the time. You know what I'm saying? Like not Absolutely. like ten percent of the time, but like forty. And DeRozan's just too expensive, man. Like because he also doesn't have crazy upside. If I'm using a guy from Chicago, it's Levine, and I don't think he's a must because it's not like. He's really cheap. He just looks it compared to the other Bulls. Right, right, exactly. Um, but he would definitely be the guy if I were going to use a Bull. It would be Levine because he's so much cheaper. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, Levine is, like I said, I, very similar to a couple weeks ago when, you know, Tatum was 95 and, and Brown was 75 or whatever the fuck it was. We talked about these Bulls guys a couple weeks ago, and I can't remember what they were priced at, but it was all close. And like, oh, it was at the 8, 89, 87, 91 or something like that. Right. And like, there just shouldn't be ever a 2K discrepancy between these guys, you know? Right. 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 Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, obviously with, the, with everyone back, I mean, it kind of takes away from the Kobe Whites and the Ayers of the world. Those guys are kind of pricey, too. Well, so I mean, like 67 for Kobe White. No, thank you. Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> All right. Next is <coughs> Memphis and Minnesota. So no Brooks. And then everyone else in the world down there, it doesn't matter. I mean, what do you think about Ja here? I think this game's interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what I mean. Like, at this pace for Ja, I feel like is, I don't know. I feel like, I mean, again, he is not, you know, there's a lot of good plays in that, you know, 10 plus range, obviously, because they're priced at that price point. But, like, I don't, Minnesota plays no defense. Yeah, I think Morant is definitely in play here. Um, he's expensive, but I don't mind building around him ever. No, I mean, well, the thing we have to check, is it a primetime game? Doubt it. True, but you never know. Highly doubt it. Let's see, I'm just looking at, they've played Minnesota once, twice. They got blown out once, they were close once, and he put up. I mean, so like uh, they also the total in the year and it went to overtime. That might have been that one. That one yeah, the 125 118 game. Yeah, that might. Yeah, that was that one. I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, seven. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, the other guy that I don't know. What about Stephen Adams? I mean, he was before the break. I mean, before that last game against Portland, he was playing very good ball. But they so they bumped weird. his minutes up though. Like that's. Yeah, he's going to play 36 minutes. with uh, Oh, sign me up. But, like, what's – he can't guard Towns on the perimeter, so I don't know. But who is? Jaron Jackson? He's just going to follow him. Someone's going to. (laughs) Jaron Jackson, the biggest – one of the biggest hacks in the league. Yeah. uh, I don't know. It's funny. In 16 minutes, he had a 42 spot, and then in 36 minutes, he had 16. That's wild. Man, I mean, I'm, I think I'm way more impressed with the 16 minutes and putting up 40. That is insane. Yeah, that's crazy. And then he's going to follow it up those two games later with 16 and 36 minutes. That's <laughs> right. So bad. They're, they're, this is called a low floor, high ceiling play if you'd like it. Which is weird. He used to be like a solid cash game play, like always. Oh, my God. Yeah, you can consistently count him for like 28 to like 35 every night. And just that was it. It was when he's in now OKC. Lions Star likes him a lot, so that's oh. no. Uh, other than that, I don't like anything from Memphis, but I like the Jack Hall. And yeah. then I actually do have interest in uh, 
D'Lo here, seventy seven hundred, like right around Garland's price tag. He these are his last four games against Memphis. 29, 3, and 6, 28, 4, and 5, 35, and 7, 22, 4, and 14, 25, 3, and 8. Like, I'm not trying to just, like, chase that from him, at, you know, but I love d anyways. Uh, he's really – he's priced very affordably for that type of upside. Mm-hmm. I like him in tournaments. Yeah, I mean, I think this – I also like Ant. I was going to say, Ant is too cheap. Yeah, I agree. I think they're both too cheap. Yeah, I mean, and he gives you that dual position guard forward eligibility too. Like, and I get it. Like, Towns coming off all the All Star game stuff. Oh, everyone's gonna be all over him because like he just you know the, the fact that he won the three point contest is just incredible to me. But that's a different story for a different. Yeah, day. but like I think like you know he's potentially get, you know maybe tired. Like mm-hmm. I like Ant and D'Lo here. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I like I like Ant. I, I'm gonna. I'm going to put up on there and say he's getting at least 48 um, DK points, not real life points. Yeah, so I don't know. Wait, you say 48 DK points? Yeah. I respect it. I'm going to say d is going for 30 real life points. So Okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, so I like both of them, though. I mean, again, these teams can play a fast-paced game. Mm-hmm. I like it. Uh yeah, I got to thank my boy Fu Hockey for giving me that that D-Lo info. Um, I always can get on board with some D-Lo. That's my guy. So appreciate it. Uh, let's move on to another one where we got to talk a lot a lot about. Yeah, so here we oh, go. Wait, so. other, go back. Jaden McDaniels. He balled the last – I think it was the last game before the break. Two games. He's played because – Oh, was yeah. That Edwards was out. Who was out? Edwards was out. Okay, yeah. If he's playing big minutes, though, um, yeah, he's been playing. I mean, I just want to double check before I say. I, I think that's because Edward hurt his cap, a cap, right? No, so he played the fifteenth and sixteenth. So the fifteenth get what hurt. About like Jared Vanderbilt, like did he play? He starts, but he's just so meh. Oh, I mean, was he out? He wasn't even out or anything. So no, yeah. he, I think he cut his minutes. Was, you could do worse at thirty six hundred. Yeah, I mean. Again, you know, he's kind of like the forgotten rookie of the bunch with him and Ant. So, yeah, I mean, exactly. you know, so, I, mean, I, mean, I have no issue. Shot, with him. He's taken 13 threes the past two games. And he's only hit two of them. So, like, yeah. And if, he's, if you're going to tell me he's going to play 30 minutes minimal, yeah, sign me up. Yeah, I'm with it. Yeah. Um, I like that call. That's a good one. Yeah, so, I don't know, just like cheap value. The more I look at this slate, though, it's going to be real hard to get to Jokic because I like a lot of the mid tier. Garland, Elo, um, Ant are three guys I like a lot. And then we're Booker also we're about to get to. Like, seems like mm-hmm. a lot. Yeah, I mean, so obviously. And, Chris, and Booker. I mean, a bunch. Because this is such a good matchup for them, too. I mean. Was well, Payne going to play? He's projected real high everywhere. Ready to play for the first team. Okay, so he's he's back. I mean, how do you not lock him in? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. He hasn't played in a while, and he is—he's not three K. He's forty-two hundred. I think Booker's the lock. I mean, I think quite frankly, you start with both of them. An eight and two. Yeah, eight and eight and a sixty-nine hundred with no with no uh, CP three is. Yeah, I mean, consistently not playing minutes is the thing. No, but consistently putting up thirty to thirty-five points at seven K—that's great cash value. I agree. I agree with you, and he does have upside here, but it's limited upside because he just is not playing huge minutes. Like, honestly, I also think JaVale McGee's in play as, like, if Aiton's only playing 30 minutes, I mean, that means McGee is playing, eh, maybe not, actually. I thought I was going to see him consistently at 18 or above, but they must be playing small a little bit, too. I was going to say, are they playing, are they playing uh, what's his face at all? Well, Cam Johnson and Crowder, obviously. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I so I wonder if they're bumping him to the center spot and keeping Crowder at the four. I think all these guys were in play. I mean, oh yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, even you know, a guy like Bridges is going to see a higher usage ticket, fifty eight hundred. Um, and again, he's another guy that gives you that dual position eligibility with the the guard and forward spot. Agreed. Um, just a really good spot for Phoenix against the trash OKC team. Now, here's a question for you, right? We all assume. And it's a pretty good assumption that Cam Payne's going to start, right? Is there any chance they start Holiday and continue to bring Payne off the bench? Definitely. I mean, well, has, has Holiday even been playing at all? 
I doubt that, honestly. I think Payne's the guy who starts. Yeah, 20. Played 20. Yeah. I mean, something to think about. If he starts, he's very intriguing at 3,700. I think at you that point, he'd rather pay the extra 500. But I think he's intriguing either way because you take mm-hmm. CP3 out. <laughs> like, whoever's coming off the bench that's how going to have more usage. Their minutes are going to play less with Booker. Mm-hmm. And honestly, right, and I, they're both in play. It's such a good matchup. Right, right. And the other thing is, too, is like, you know, a wrist injury, like, you yeah. know, playing basketball, that's no joke. You get hit the wrong way on a foul, you, you go, it's gonna, you're going to be done. I like the holiday call, you know, off, especially if Payne's chalk. Yeah, I mean, it's a great pivot. Was similar to who? It was a, it was a similar situation. Oh, probably. I, I mean, maybe this. I don't know if this is what you're thinking of, but a very similar situation was with Bones Highland and Composo last week, or whatever. Bones Highland started and was chalk. Like the first game, Monte Morris was out. Composo went off, came off the bench and dropped like thirty. No, that wasn't it. I don't remember what you're talking about, but I do remember that. That was against the Celtics. It was against the Celtics. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I remember I was watching that game. I was like, "Will someone guard this guy?" Like, yeah, dude. And, and Bones was chalk because he started. Mm-hmm. So I mean, that could be a huge pivot. Yeah, agreed. I'm with that. I like that call a lot. All right. OKC side of this thing. So, I mean, a lot of questionables. So, I mean, we're going to have to keep an eye on this team. I don't know. I mean, with without knowing about Shy, it's impossible to talk well, about. I mean, well, I, I mean Shy, Dwar- Dort, like, that's a lot of minutes right there. Dort hasn't played in a minute. Shy hasn't played in a minute. I'm going to abstain from talking about. Okay, see, they're also expensive, like Giddy at 84, Beasley 7K. No thanks. Yeah, I think you keep an eye on the situation. You know, there could be there could be some good – if Shy's out, I don't mind. Like a trade man of the world, I'd much rather go down to, you know, the other pieces that we kind of talked about previously. But, yeah. For sure. All right, next is Denver, your boy, Jokic. Yeah, I mean, he looks – he's the best He's the best player on the slate. I mean, that's not even a question. If enough value comes out, he's a lock. I mean, it's just what it is. Like, without Do you Jamal think Murray, enough value will come out, though? I don't know. Um, I don't know. A t- I mean, maybe not as of right now. Um, so, like, let me ask you this one real quick, right? And we did this kind of with Luca the other – last week, right? Would you rather a holiday Jokic or, like, a Garland – D or Garland Edwards type. Garland, but if Holiday happens to drop 30. Oh, you're set. Jokic, yeah, the Jokic Holiday will outscore them. Absolutely. You know what but, I'm saying? Like, Jokic will do his part. Oh, yeah. I mean, you don't have to worry about that part. Yeah. I also, like, I don't know. Like, I think this is going to be a game, too. Uh, Sacramento did me real well before the break. They had a couple guys out. It's a, for Denver for me. It's all about Jokic tonight. If you can fit him, go there. I mean, no one else is even in consideration for me, really. Now, uh, GP, do you take a chance on Demarcus Cousins going back to Sha- Shaq Town? I don't hate it. I mean, listen, it's not like he's been bad at this price point, but I just it's so hard to like eat a spot here. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, I'm talking like if you're doing like a twenty max, like throw him in one to see, yeah, you know, what the hell could happen. But like, if you're doing a three max tent, like, no, like, don't. Agreed. I mean, he's 3,100, so he's not going to kill you anyways. And maybe they've let him play 20 minutes here. Maybe this game blows out. You never know. Right, right. And the other thing is, too, I mean, they just signed him for the rest of the season, too. So he could be feeling pretty good about himself. Um. Yeah, completely agreed. Uh, couldn't agree more. So, all right. Other side of this, so you were kind of talking about how Sack did you pretty good. So Davis is still out. I saw something on Mitchell earlier. I swear it was earlier today. I'll yeah. Check that now. I, I did, right? I'm not losing my mind. No, I, th- I thought I saw something, too. Let me go back and check. Let me see. I got it up right here. Uh, puts puts in full practice. Okay, so he's in. So he's in. So, so that means, like, a guy I used last night was Justin Holiday. Can't go back there. I used yeah. both him and DiVincenzo. Um, he was good. Uh, he was great. They're both out of play now, though, with um, – Mitchell back in, and we don't know about Jeremy Lamb. Right. I mean, yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen anything on him. Uh, that was last week's game, so that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't mind. You know, I, I don't mind the bonus in the spot at all. 
Me neither. So, I mean, it's all about Sabonis and Fox for me from Sacramento. I mean, yeah, yeah but I just, he's such a great matchup against Jokic. You know, I mean, obviously Jokic's a far superior player, but like matchup wise, like build wise, like he plays him well for you know the kind of player he is. Like he can he can hang on the outside, he can bang around down low, and obviously Jokic has a clear advantage. Um, but I think he just provides you know a similar build type where he's going to be able to do his part regardless of what Jokic's doing on his end. For sure. So, yeah, I don't mind. And I mean, did Sabonis? I remember when he was a big piece of the uh, which was he put, was it the Westbrook deal, right? Wait, who? Wasn't Sabonis a big part of the Westbrook yeah. deal? Sabonis. Yes, Sabonis. No, the Paul George deal. Paul George. Yes, that's what it was. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Like Sabonis had been traded with Oladipo like two or three times. This was the first time he ever got traded without Oladipo. Yeah, that's. I mean. Oh God! Yeah, I have no no. I mean, I think I'm gonna go back. If I'm using pieces in this game, it's gonna be the two studs. Yeah, like the, I, the two studs from the Sacramento side, obviously. So Jokic from the side. If I can get Sabonis Fox, like it's it almost it's so hard to get Jokic Fox and 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 Sabonis. Right, because if, right, if you do that, right, and again, we're just doing this, you have four four K left. That's and there's not a lot of guys like there's not enough value for you to do that. Right. Yeah, there's maybe like one or two sustainable value pieces in that spot that could help you, but not enough to get to where you need to be. And also, I think you you get a lot. You're missing out on a lot of good plays, man. Uh huh. And that's why I think the mid tier is going to be a lot more. I agree. Feasible. I'm with you. I'm I'm with you. Uh, all right, we still got one more game. Yep. One last game is Golden State Portland. So Golden State, Dre Wiseman. What the Wiseman? When the hell is this man coming back? I don't know. I heard he did do, do like a five on five scrimmage though. Yep. Yeah. They, okay. It says they're here. He's going to be. I mean, they say he's coming back to play in the G League soon. So. I mean, hey. I mean. I mean, Kevon Looney's been doing just fine, obviously, in his place, and I think a similar role will be, you know, once Wiseman comes back. But. In this spot, I mean. I don't mind Wiggins at six K, which makes me want to bomb it. Yeah, I see him projected decently. I I don't hate it either. Um. It's hard for me to prioritize anything from Golden State, though, when they're healthy, though. I mean, they got Clay back. Right. I don't know. Like, I just not sucks in the All-Star game. Here comes, here comes the downfall of Andrew Wiggins. I don't know. I think I like – I mean, I like Golden State for him as a spot, personally. I mean, he's, like, out of sight, out of mind almost. Well, that's what I mean, but I'm saying, like, when he was an All-Star, so I was like, bro, come on. Yeah, unreal that he made – that he started an All-Star. Like, there's so many guys that don't make it. Like, he started – like – Anthony Edwards did not make the team. He's so much better than Wiggins. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, it's stupid. Like that, and that's the part that actually like just borderline pisses me yeah, off. Yeah, it's stupid. Start. Like, so. I get a guy like Anthony Edwards is so much better. I mean, oh my god, right? I, that, oh god, that just aggravates me. Yeah, I'm with you. I feel that same pain. Um, all right, and then Portland side. I mean, obviously, you no know, Lillard. Little still out. Um, Dennis Smith didn't he get dropped or waived? Yeah, some I don't know. Like he does. Yeah, it was waived. Yeah, waived. Which is so weird. He was hurt and then he got waived. Yeah, that is weird. But but whatever. Bledsoe yeah. is he playing? I don't know if Bledsoe's playing. I don't know if he's ever going to fight for them. Um, I feel like he's going to get bought out or something. Yeah, like Dragic. I don't see. Yeah, I don't see them giving him minute. Like giving him minutes over Anthony Simons at all. Yeah, or even a guy like C.J. Elderby, who they can develop for the rest of the year and see what he's got. Yeah, I mean, Simons, I think Simons and Nurk, and Josh Hart, man. And Winslow also continues to play good ball. Like, I like this. I don't know. It's not a great yeah. spot against Golden State, but. Yeah, slow pace spot. You know, defensively, Golden State's really sound. But, I mean, someone's going to have to put the ball in the hoop for the, you know, for the Blazers. It's just a matter like, of who's going to be. These Those main four guys are playing a lot of minutes, honestly. Like. Yeah, I mean, obviously, so Simon, yeah, thirty mid thirties. Look at his game log. Look Nurk. at Kirk's game log, and look at Simon's game log, and then look at Winslow's game log. It's like it's not just like okay, like these guys are living good. Yeah, they're balling. Yeah, hard. Yeah, I mean, the fact that Justice Winslow is now relevant in the league again. I mean, I don't want to pay sixty one hundred for him, but I think like honestly, like. 
If you tell me Jeremy Grant has chalked, I'll take Justice Winslow all over him all day. Yeah, and I mean, if you, I mean, I would even take He's Andrew Wiggins better. over him. Who? Andrew Wiggins, I would even take over him. I just don't trust Justice Winslow is very in the, the same trust category as Kyle Kuzma is for me. Yeah, I mean, his price is getting up there. You certainly don't have to play him. I think Portland's a little bit sneaky here, though. I mean, you know it's these four guys getting big minutes. Right, and then my guy, my guy Ellerby. He stinks. He's so bad. But he's playing so many minutes. He's like, yeah, uh, what's his face there? 4,500. I can't do it. No. Royce O'Neal running around yeah. on the floor for 30 minutes and doing nothing with it. His game log is very reminiscent of Royce O'Neal. Yep. Um, all right. And then, I mean, that's pretty much it from... Man, Nurk looks, dude, damn. Nurk's, I mean, Kavon Looney's not going to be able to hang with him down there. No. Uh, his yeah. game log's impressive. That's for damn sure. Um, all right, let's build a little bit. I'll go first. I want yeah, Garland. Is. Garland. What, Seth Curry? I want Ant. I'll give me like a James Johnson here at power forward. Throw D Law at guard. I don't I can't get Jokic in here now. Um nope. I, if I took out D Law, I could though. Oh go Booker at utility. Um, so center here, uh, is what's his face that center eligible from, uh, Minnesota? Oh, uh, they, uh, McDaniels. I don't think so. I think it's Johnson is though. Is Johnson. I was going to say, can you move Johnson over? No, nope, he's a power forward only. He definitely was before the break. He was definitely power forward center. Yeah, for sure. They're always messing with that stuff. Um, here's where I could go with like a bat, like Cleon Bagley, the defensive machine, Marvin Bagley the third. God, this is a lineup where I could see using Cousins. That's what I'm saying. All right, throw Cousins in there. <laughs> see what I got left, at least. There he is. There's my guy. Oh, what the hell was that? 55 at forward. And I, I mean, it's like my Patty Mills here. Or the other thing is, too, is Seth Curry's small forward eligible, too. So, really, if we want to finagle oh, yeah, moving yeah. around, if so, we want to so, move so, around. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Um, man, I don't want to play Cousins. I don't want to play Cousins, though. <sighs> I mean, I don't hate it, I guess, the more I'm thinking about it. I don't really like center tonight outside of Jokic. Um, yeah. There's like not a lot of value at all as of right now. And that's, I mean, that was part of the reason why, too, like that I liked Rob Williams, even though he's 70, you know, 74, whatever the hell he is. Yeah, I get that. I actually like him more now after looking at yeah. the slate. Um, but he's a prioritizer. I mean, you know, for me, it's more like he's more of a priority for me than like a D D-Lo. I knew you were going to say that. Yep. It might have to be for position wise for me that I have to do something like that. Um, right. And then this lineup too, like you know, you didn't get to like a campaign or like a uh, holiday. Yeah, you kind of talked me off campaign to be honest, and I don't really need to roster holiday. I, if I'm if I'm using Jokic, like we'll we'll just do two builds. You go next, yeah, yeah. we'll All do right. one more, and I'll use holiday in the next one. But I don't feel like oh, like I didn't get to campaign. Like that's some sort of like. Like I don't, I, I don't need campaign. I mean, if he beats me, he beats me. I think he's in play, but I'm not like going out of my way for some campaign, you know. Yeah, no, for sure. He, I just um, let's see. so good either. I, I have, I should let my biases go there. So let's see. Um, this would be one that I would use. What's his face in? What the hell is he? Uh, I'm drawing a blank on his name. Oh my God, Minnesota tells his name. 
Jan- McDaniels. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I don't know why that was so difficult for me to figure out. Um. So now it's what a forty-three per. So again, I'm just gonna go to Payne because he's probably gonna start. And, but again, like if I need the extra five hundred, like I have no problem going down to Holiday with this lineup. Hundred percent. With fifty-three left, what can I get? It's on my. If I go forward. <laughs> If I go Andrew Wiggins here, what does that get me at utility? That's kind of gross. Let's see. I mean, yeah, I mean, all right. So if I get to, if I use, let's see, if I use, like I said, if I use, what's his face? I mean, I don't like it as much, but 61. Going holiday here. Oh, I didn't do my math right. If I go holiday here, 51. Who's there? I like Pat Beverly right here. Yeah, I have, and especially because I have, that would give me, yeah. So if I don't have anything Memphis to run it back. So, like, so what? That's true. I don't think you Hold need on. to run it back in the NBA, honestly. No. You don't. Like you just don't. No, you don't. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't mind anything in this in this vicinity. Again, I can always. It feels like, like you do, but you don't. Yeah, well, I mean, like that's what I mean. Like with football, you know, if you go quarterback, wide receiver, you go running back on the other side. Like there's that correlation to it. You know what I mean? I see all the time winning lineups and tournaments have like three or four pieces from one team and nothing from the other team. Yeah, that's that part is great. Well, especially those ones that are. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just what it is all about pricing and stuff. I mean, I'm thinking about the Kings the other day. They lost when I used them. I used four Kings. I did do use DeRozan with them, but I didn't have to use DeRozan. You know what I mean? Like, he was fine for his price, but he was expensive also. But, like, Sabonis smashed, Fox smashed, Holiday smashed, and DiVincenzo was okay in a loss. You know what I'm saying? And you didn't need any bowls. So, like, it's all about the pricing for NBA DFS. It's just what it is. Right, right. And that's what you gotta do. That's exactly it. So I don't know, man. Um, I like this build. You really have to prioritize Robert Williams for sure, though, to get him in here. But the thing about it is I don't like center, so I get it. Well, maybe that's why Adams is projected so high. Yeah. That's it's gotta be it. That's my only thing I can think of. Yeah, um, I'm with it. All right, what do you got in the next one? All right, let's go Jokic. Jokic. And we'll go Aaron Holiday here. Oh, boy. Um, sorry. I just got a, I just got a text my bad. Um, Holiday. With Jokic, I really have to decide between. All right, go Booker. An ant. Can you even get that? I mean, like, comfortably? I'm sure I, yeah, because I can't get them to Ann Garland. That's what I'm saying. Like, <sighs> Jokic so is so hard to get to on this slate as of right now. Right. I mean, here, so here's a question, right? And you really have to ask yourself this, right? If, if you want to go Jokic, do you go pain and holiday and save off of Booker? Interesting. Like, terms really of perspective, like, could you do that? Yeah, you could, because Booker's like 9K. I, I, optimally, I don't think that's a good move, but also, like, Phoenix could easily roll them here. Well, that's what I mean. It's OKC. It's not like they're playing a team that's any relevant. All of a sudden, if they roll here, then, like, yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of minutes for campaign and holiday. I want Garland also. Like, right. But there's so no way with this lineup you can. I don't like center today. I, I, I think that's why Adams is so chalky. Yeah, all right. Take out Jokic here. Take out Jokic and, and Holiday. I just can't do it as of right now. Go Garland, Adams.
Then I'm going to go back to James Johnson, Seth Curry. So you're you're big on James Johnson? No, but he's 3,500. I mean, go Curry and McDaniels here. Now what do I get? Yeah, you get me still not being able to spell yeah. after the All Star break. Else? That's what you get. Uh, seventy one. Oh, who the hell's seventy one? Oh, seventy seven is D'Lo. Yeah. Oh, Jackson Jr. Even if you if you wanted Aiton, I'd probably go Aiton here. Um, yeah. Also, don't have to play McDaniel's and James Johnson. Um, also, like instead of Adams, could go Nurk. Yeah. Yeah, what does Nerf get you? Probably what forty something. Forty one oh, utility. Like holiday here or I mean I don't like any pain. You're you're one hundred away from pain. Yeah, that sucks. Um well uh, damn it. Yeah, I don't even want to use Johnson and McDaniels. Like those guys stink. And now you're throwing another guy in here that stinks. Right. The problem is the mid tier I like is kind of pricey, you know. Well, it's it's a higher end mid tier build, except for Curry. Curry's like yeah. true mid tier, and I like him a lot. But Garland, Booker, and Edwards are like, you know, yeah. Even Curry, maybe he's the guy I take out. Damn, that's what I mean. And like you know, damn well if he doesn't have Marcus Smart on him, he's gonna have Derek White on him. So throw out, take out Curry, and put in Payne. Or put in Holiday. I like the Holiday call a lot. <laughs> I, I really hope that works. Because I, I saw him, and I was like, ooh, I like him. And I'm like, oh. So 64 gets you White, Drummond. Drummond. I could easily yeah. use Drummond here. But also, take out Nurk and go back to Adams here. Right. If you went, uh, That gives you a lot. That gives you, that, does that get you D'Lo? Easily. Oh, easily. But way more than D'Lo. I mean, that gets you. You could go. Campaign's five hundred more. You could go, oh, man. I mean, you could you could go Sabonis here, or you could go Nurk here. You could well, go, you can go Nurk and then upgrade. Can the you get Jokic? Here. Can you get Jokic instead of Adams? No, I don't think you can. Because no, you'd be way on way over. Yeah. Damn. Okay. I mean, with this lineup, you'd have to you'd have to dump Booker. Yeah. You'd have to dump Booker, Garland, or Edwards. You can't play four, Jokic with three of those guys. Nope. Nope. So it is what it is. All right, your turn. Final build. All right. Let's see. Let's do that when I talked about Holiday, Pain, Pain. Where the hell are you? Right there. Pain, Holiday, Edwards. Nurk. Power forward. McDaniels. <laughs> 74 per 22. So could I go Ja? And if I go forward, can I get, let's see, forward, who I want. I don't want to six and six it. Um, let's, let's do this first. Let's do this if I go. Forty-six. Gets... No, I don't like that. What if I go Adams down here? 64. Yeah, I mean, all right, let, me, let me see. I don't really want to go. Pain and holiday, yeah. I mean, ugh. I know, it's so disgusting. 41, you were in this. Mindset actually before. really likes Gary Payton. I know you, I mean, you just like went by him. Really? I think that changes, but I don't know. Yeah, I think, yeah, once what's his face is ruled in. 
Who? Once, like I think once. Uh, what's his face? Clay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. gonna play. I'm with you. Um, the other cheat guy, honestly, we didn't talk about is Isaiah Roby at center. Like another guy, I'm not excited about him, but he's starting at 3,700. He was actually really good last game. You could do worse. Damn, you're yeah. you're you're not the struggle bus over there. Yo, I got to figure out this. I got to take it off. He just oh. automatically goes to Poku because he can't type in Roby. <laughs> <laughs> There's no autocorrect for Poku. There's an autocorrect for Roby. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but even I wouldn't mind Poku in this spot. Like, and then go Garland. No, I don't mind that at all. Like, you have it's value central in that Phoenix OKC game. And you're taking a huge flyer. I mean, click on Roby, though. Like, I got to find him first. 3,700. Yeah, I mean, he's 3,700. Yeah. I mean, monster game against San Antonio. So that 19 shots, God, that is insane. That's what I'm saying. Like, why was this man taking 19 shots? I don't know, but I want him on my side at 3,700 on this slate if he's going to do that, anything like that again. If Shy, et cetera, are out. I like him. Yeah, I think you can get weird with uh, the OKC pieces if, even if, if if Shy and Dort are out, like you could go Roby Poku. Agreed. And then like that's like you know that's a good chunk of minutes, a like, good value. And then I mean that could be the way Ro- you get to a Roby, guy like Poku Holiday. Right, like that's that would be the way you get into a guy like you know what's Yo- his face. So if, yeah, because if we Yo- do it, let's let's see. I'm now now I'm intrigued. Yeah, I I agree with you because now you can like fit him. Now like you get 40. Me. Right, right, and like that's, and that's with Jaw too. Exactly, like, you, you, you don't can easily like drop Jaw ja to Garland, and then that gives you seven K at guard. Realistically, I mean that's now you can move things around, but like because you can move Ant. You can move Ant there. That gives you Evan Mobley if you wanted to. I think he's a fine play. Yeah, I mean, or, or you upgrade McDaniels and you build more mid tier that way. Agreed. Maybe you go with a guy like Seth Curry and then whoever there with him. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. It is. It's interesting. I mean, I think do you think those cheap OKC guys become really in play? I'm with you. I'm with you there for sure. Yeah, I, I mean, I think, to be honest with you, like, I think if the OKC value, you know, comes into play, like, and you want to get real different, like, you could go the OKC value with the Portland studs. I was just going to say Portland's going to be so low on here. Like, no one's going to be, like, like I, just, I mean, again, I guess we're, you know, we're kind of beating a dead horse here, but, like, I just want to see, like, what is that, like, if you go Nurk. And you go Simons. And then you go, what's his face, Hart. You still have 61 to play with. You know what's funny, though, is I was thinking that same thing, but then I was also thinking, like, damn. As much as I like the Portland size, I also, I think I like Fox and Sabonis just as much. Well, that's what, I mean, dude, these two late games, I feel like are going to be forgotten. If you you dude, honestly, we talked about it earlier in the video. We'll finish it on this. If you use the Poku Holiday Roby, like go click out, click out on the Portland guys. All right, let me get Holiday in there first. I mean, that's you still have seventy three. Now this is where you can go: Jokic, Sabonis, Fox. You still have 43. So, I mean, this is you could go to like a pain type here. Yeah. I mean, you're fading Booker. So, like, you could easily do it. I mean, uh, you're giving up a lot to get this. Like, you don't have Ant, you don't have Booker. But on the right. flip side, if you, if you use those guys, you're not getting any of the, you know what I mean? You're not using Sabonis Fox. So, right, right. Yeah. You trade off either way. I mean, were there any cheap small forwards? Like, I don't think there were like any real cheap ones. I mean, we talked about Cam Johnson quickly, but nothing. Yeah, like I'm fine with him. McDaniel's. Is oh yeah, McDaniel's is small forward. forward eligible. Right. 
So if you did that, that gives you 51 at guard. Beverly, yep, exactly. I mean, yeah, there's there's ways. To, there's or you ways know what? To, I'm already using this game. Maybe this is where I do use Monte Morris. Like, right, just just have it all. It's a fantastic spot. He's back now. Um, right, right, and he's only 51. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think he's in play. I, I'm a huge Monte Morris fan. Like, that game has a lot of upside. Oh yeah, that good game. That oh yes, yes. I uh, yeah. I mean. Again, I could see myself doing this as a late night with the value, or even, I mean, I don't know if you could fit it, but going those four guys from Portland and then going like Curry with it. No way you can fit that. You don't think so? No chance, dude. Let's see. I'm going to check now. No. You definitely will have to drop Nurk or Simons, in my opinion, in order to even fit it. Sweet. Uh, where the hell is he? Simons. Nurk. Maybe actually. I mean, that's one thing. I think you might be yeah. able to. You uh, you have more than enough room. Yeah. Heart. And then you can even update McDaniels. If you, I wouldn't go Macklemore here, but like, <laughs> you, you can do it. Definitely can do it, man. Um, yeah. Yeah, the, the OKC guys are, are looking to me like they're going to be crucial for this slate. Yeah, I mean, the OKC and then, you know, the value at the other side of that game with the guards. Yeah, for sure. Um, interested to see what their starting lineup looks like, you know, assuming Payne is back. But, man, I had fun breaking this down with you. Uh, right back at it after the All-Star break. Appreciate you coming on with me. I got nothing else for this slate. How about you? And I'm going to say keep your eye on the injury news, and, uh, I mean, hit us up tomorrow. We'll be around. Yeah, keep your eye on the news. I guess the one thing I'll say, though, is that my only thing is about those builds that I don't like is you're not getting Garland. Like, Garland – I feel like Garland and Ant are priorities for me, but – That's how I feel, like, too. That, really, that, that Portland Golden State doesn't go to OT, and, like, you know, right. Simons and them destroy – you know what I'm saying? Like – Right. It's very possible. Yeah. I, Portland's, like, playing good ball, too. I don't know, like – we were actually, we started talking about Portland. It's funny. We're coming full circle. I was telling yeah. you, I was watching Dame, it, you know, being in his interview with Draymond Green, and you were like, he needs to get the hell out of Portland. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah, ultimately, if he wants to win a title, like, now, you know, he, there, there are better teams for sure. But I like what they're doing, like, in terms of getting all that cap space. And then, like, I think they got pieces now. Simons, Nurk, Hart. Like, that's not awful. No, it's not terrible, but I mean, again, you know, you know, and he's he's always said like I'm going down with a ship. Yeah, how good is Simon's? I guess that's my other question. Do you think? I mean, we gonna have to figure it out. Yeah, but, you know, he's good. I don't know how good that good is, but I think he's a major player in this for how good Portland can be. Like, if he can be right. as good as CJ, right, right, or is he gonna end up, you know, with someone who you know who's not as as well of a shooter as you know CJ? Then, he, you know, looks what you're like, at. he looks like Dame out there. Like he's clearly gotten a few tricks from Dame, and uh, I'm a huge Simon's fan, so I'm hoping that 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 offense and that team can take over once Dame comes back, which will probably be next year at this point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think he's toast for the year, right? I think so. I mean, Portland's done, so I'd be surprised yeah. if he came back. But that's all I got. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. We're almost at an hour here, fifty. Three minute and a half minutes. So appreciate you guys as always. Go check out the links for Loose Lines and Jazz Sports, and we'll see you guys tomorrow or Friday. See you guys later. Thanks.